Welcome to Microwave Delights! Hello, Air Pink. What do you have there? Looks delicious! Isn't that neat? How long do we cook that? You'll be full in no time! Time to prepare that wonderful food! Make sure you follow the instructions! Just the press of a button and we're cooking! While you're waiting, you can occupy your time with an important activity. Look! It's TV magic! Time to enjoy that delightful meal! What is this? <laughs> Microwave delight! I, I know what show it is, but what exactly <laughs> is this? Fucking just a horrific mess we, on my plate. We have right a now. wonderful, beautiful looking plating <laughs> here. Really? Consisting, Where is it consisting of drunken <laughs> noodles, uh huh, P.F. Chang drunken noodles, and Dr. Prager's kale that sounds so potato bad. nugget thing. Yes. Yeah. If it was like Dr. Overkill or something, you know, it'd be, it'd be a little bit more explanatory. But it's like, what is going on with these things? These things look horrific. Uh, they do look scary. Here, here's the thing. They, they specifically make these for kids. Yeah. So that kids will eat their vegetables. It's a mix of kale and potato. And they're shaped, you know, like dinosaurs and bears and stars and uh -huh. shit. But when a kid fucking looks at this thing... This horrifying green abomination, they're not going to want to eat that. I'm going to eat a Stegosaurus. Are you? Yeah. I'll have a Patrick. I'll have a Starfish. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. Okay. It has the texture of, you, you know those like little tiny sponges you buy and you throw them in water and they grow up into, mm -hmm. like after it <laughs> expands, that's what this is like. Uh -huh. That's exactly what they look like. Yeah, it's like a weak tater tot. It's mostly potato. Hmm. The the kale is there just so they can say there's something healthy in it. Yeah. Uh, it definitely colors it a lot. Uh, you see flakes of it a lot, but no, this is just potato. Potato, a little bit of onion. This is it's just get your kid French fries. Like that's all you're you're doing. Mm -hmm. If your kid has some problem with eating food that's healthy for them, you tell them to shut the fuck up. They're your fucking kid. Be a parent, asshole. Eat the crickets. Eat the goddamn cricket. I'll be over here eating my steak. You eat the crickets. <laughs> I actually like these. Yeah, they're really good. I, they're I, just potato. They are potato bites. Mm -hmm. They're like a, a tater tot with a little less texture and a little bit more onion. Mm -hmm. They're really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I like it. These are greasy, too. There's a lot of oil in there. What, what's up with that? Like, what kind of oil is that supposed to be? These are completely con contradicting any kind of healthy aspect to them. Like yeah, that. these aren't healthy at all. No. It's obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's carbs and oil. Yes. <laughs> Before we try our main course, we're going to try some of our wine today. Coming in a box. Because I thought it fit the meal. Uh, we have Barefoot on Tap. I can't knock this brand. Even in a box, I can't. <laughs> Rosé from California. Three liters is equal to four... 750 milliliter bottles. Oh, cool. There's, this is four bottles of wine. Yeah. If you consider that this is a bottle of wine, holy shit, you're saving shelf space, buddy. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look very red for a rose. Oh, wow. I mean, that's no. Roses don't get red. Yeah, well, they're pink. It's a little yeah. pink. It smells like candy. That's not what you want wine to smell like. I'm not getting a huge aroma from it. It's light. It's definitely light. Does it have a nutty finish? Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a stout wine. <laughs> Still. There's hints of oak <laughs> and sandalwood. Ugh. Yeah, that is... Oh, what? <laughs> that is way too sweet. Did they brew this with, like, cherry yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it does taste like... <laughs> 2% Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford the kefir drinks? Well, here we go. 
Yeah, it does. But I, I like Faye, so I, I mean, it's too <laughs> sweet, but it's not horrible. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Like this, this, as as an alcoholic drink, I could get through it. But as uh -huh. a rosé, I have to say this is like a really bad showing. As a dirt cheap wine goes, Barefoot does put out some good um, variations, but I don't think rosé. is Yeah, good. I mean, it, it's not Yellowtail. We'll say that. But I love Yellowtail. Oh my God, you're horrible. I love Yellowtail more than I love Barefoot. Oh, you're bad. Do you need to speak to someone's manager? <laughs> yes, I do. Sit right down, now. Karen. Right now. Let's try the butane noodles. What is what? What makes a drunken noodle? You're um, drunk when you cook it. Uh, oh, that every noodle is a drunk noodle. I, I assumed it had to be. You have to be drunk to eat it. Huh? The way that shit <laughs> smells. Yes. It doesn't smell as bad at, out of the microwave. Here's my question. Can yellow bell peppers possibly be a part of the original recipe? Mm, no. It can't be. Um, it definitely has, like, sort of a a Thai sort of thing going it on. It smells like lemongrass. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and try it. It has a very viscous sauce. The noodles, while, yeah, they're squishy or whatever, they're not quite as bad as a lot of microwave noodles can get. Mm -hmm. The chicken is present. <laughs> yeah. They say that they're so spicy that you have to get drunk in order to tolerate the spice. What the fuck? No. That, I mean, that's that's not for P.F. No. Chang's. That's just drunken no. noodles. They, they call them drunken noodles because they're made by the drunken master, Jackie Chan. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. If if spice is supposed to be the star of the show, then it is a failure. Uh, a yeah, big a time box. Failure. It only shows one on the on the uh, yeah. spice scale. So. Yeah, yeah. The sauce with the way how like goopy it is. There must be like a lot of sugar in there. I feel like your sauce. Sugar and like cornstarch. Yeah, definitely a starch. Like I'm I'm thinking there's the thickening agent in here. And it's like, eh, it, it, it's a it's a meh for me. However, this is better than any of the actual food we got from P.F. Chang's. That, that is <laughs> sad. That is really, really sad. We employed a microwave here, folks. Yeah, like when we bought that for deep fried, like those were horrific. Yeah, they cooked our food over the La Brea tar pits. Yeah. Like, it, it tasted terrible. It tasted like hydrocarbons. Mm -hmm. This just, cooked it on stir just tastes like microwave noodles, and that's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, well, the price... is fine. The, the only thing would be the price point, which I don't know it offhand. 50 cents. If either one of these breaks 50 cents, <laughs> I am going to riot. P.F. Chang's is, is very upsetting to me now. It's not just disappointing. I am like, this is a bad agent. This is a bad faith player in capitalism. The Dr. Prager's potato kale things. Mm -hmm. So, I actually like those. Yeah. However, I have to factor into my score what the intention behind yeah. them is. They're good, but only in spite of what they're supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. So I think they are failing their intentions. I yeah. have to imagine they're failing in their intentions. Yeah. Um, so but I like them. I like them. Throw some banana sauce. What, would I buy them again? No. How much are they? Are those also $5? Five dollars? Five forty nine. Oh! But four ninety nine. dollars I, I, I'm... Uh, okay, I thought they were cheaper than that. I'm going down. Yeah. For flavor, I would have given them a five, but considering all the other aspects, they're a three. I'm going to have to go with a four because I'm an oniony boy. <laughs> I like the addition of onions in here. So yeah. I'm like, I, I dig it, and I would uh, buy them if they were affordable. But since they aren't, they, they don't achieve a five. As far as the wine goes, like, I know it's not great. Mm. I know I wouldn't buy it to drink it, but if you factor in that we filmed two bro beers, I think this is a four. I am going to give this one a three. Mm -hmm. Like, it reminds me of a weak raspberry pastry that has somehow been liquefied. Most awarded wine What is that? Barefoot of most awarded wine brand. Where? Well, who was it? Was it, <laughs> was it the Walmart Awards? <laughs> Honestly, if this was like 
a two dollar box. I think I could be pretty comfortable in giving it like a six. Like it's not great, but it has things going for it. It does have a lot of flavor. It's it's sort of interesting. I mean, the base of the sauce tastes. It, it has like a gelatin factor to it, <laughs> which is a little weird. But I don't think it's bad, considering it's a five over five dollar product. Yeah, that hurts. They're going. They're going deep. You better go deep right back. That's insulting. Yeah, that is like I'm saying. They're actively doing evil in the world. I hate you, P.F. Chang, and I give your box a two and a half. Yeah. This didn't make me gag, but I emotionally gagged. <laughs> so I'm giving it a two. <laughs> your soul gag. It's really bad, and the price <laughs> absolutely is is not justifying that at all. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Don't buy it. Yeah, this is how you know capitalism doesn't actually work. Don't <laughs> buy any of these things, probably. Maybe... Maybe the, the stegosaurus stegosaurus sh shaped potato things. Those are those those could be a guilty pleasure, but everything else you don't want to do. You I mean do. even with the price of these, it's pretty it's pretty Oh rough. I forgot the price. You're no. gonna you're gonna have to have a real like kindred spirit to the flavor of these things. Don't buy any of these. No. Resist! Rise! Yes. Resist! <laughs> Fight the power! Fight the power! Fight the power! This Fight the power. This is why capitalism sucks. <laughs> All of this. Socialism is the future. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe. Go check out Loafy on twitch.tv slash Loafy Molasses. Eat check the out... drunken noodles of the... <laughs> check out our social needs down below. We're going to lose a lot of subscribers. Fuck, I hope not.